Melon is sponsoring me to teach you how to use intros, outros, and green screen in their broadcasting software. You don't need all this fancy gear like I have here in my home studio. You can do all of this in a simple way using this web interface. So how do you access these features? Up here in the top right hand corner, you're going to click on the menu button and then you're gonna scroll down to the video section. Once you click that, there's going to be a section where there's video clips that you can add. There's a bunch of video clips in the built-in library that you can select from if you click show more. And their library mostly consists of uh, about to go live or countdown clock style animations that you can play if you choose. Now I'll warn you about countdown clocks. Don't do these on YouTube. That will hurt you in the YouTube algorithm. Uh, but on other platforms where there isn't an algorithm uh, that can show your content or not, uh, then you can use something like a countdown clock. You can also upload your own custom video here into the platform by 300 megabyte maximum. MP4 and WebM are supported. You click this and then you upload whatever video it is that you want to upload. Uh, I have my logo animation plugged in here to the platform. It'll quickly upload that file and make it available for you to play back as you see fit. So why would you want to do that? So when you lock and load clips here, you can click the dot, dot, dot next to them and you can set them as your intro and outro as you see fit. So let's say you have a branded intro or let's say you wanted to do a countdown clock as your intro or a starting soon as your intro. What you're gonna do is click the dot, dot, dot next to that clip and set as intro. And then let's say you had something else that you wanted to be your outro when the stream is over, when the recording is over, you go click on that and you click set as outro. So when you record or when you stream, it automatically plays that when you hit the record button. Let's just do it right now. I'm gonna click record right down here and watch what happens. Um, I'm gonna call this just test one, two, three, just so you can just kind of get a feel for what happens with intro outros. It just makes it so you don't have to press a button um, when you're starting your recording to trigger the intro at the, just the right time. Watch, as soon as the recording started, it played the intro animation and then boom, it goes to your first scene and you can add whatever content you want there. Got it? And then when you're done with the recording, you click stop recording, you can have the option to play outro and end recording or just keep recording. Got it? Those are your two options here. So we're gonna play outro and end recording. And then now it's playing my outro here, which my outro video is like a 30 second long animation loop. Pretty cool, right? It automatically takes care of those items for you while you are um, basically uh, running your broadcast. So it reduces the number of elements that you have to worry about when you're trying to execute a branded show. Got it? Had a great experience, thank you very much. Now. Green screens. So now that you know how to do intros and outros, which you don't have to do, but you can if you choose, green screens are available. And so in order to do green screen, you'll need to have a green screen. So I've got one set up behind me here. Uh, this is just another camera. Uh, and basically what you need to do is either have a green colored screen or a blue colored screen. You can select which one you have, mine is green. And what you do is you click enable green screen. It's very, very simple. You click I understand with the warning and then you choose your background that you want. It comes with a number of default backgrounds from tropical stuff to libraries or hotels. I've uploaded my branded background. I recommend you do a custom background if you're gonna put something behind yourself. I've got my branded background and then watch what happens, boom. My background is removed right there, just like that. Now, in order to get it removed properly, there's a little slider here on the side, and with the slider, you do the intensity up and down. So what you wanna look for, you wanna hold out, the best way to do it is to hold out your fingers like this and make it so that the green, uh, your, your fingers are not connected by the green. So if you go too low, your fingers will be connected like flippers with the green in between your fingers. Then you wanna go up, up, up until the green goes away between your fingers, but it doesn't eliminate your fingers. Got it? And so you wanna get it in that sweet spot where it's not literally getting rid of your fingers, it's only getting rid of the green next to your fingers. And then, then you have found the sweet spot and then boom, you are properly green screened. Got it? That's how green screen works, it's that simple. You don't need fancy software, you don't need crazy stuff to pull this off. It's just a built-in setting inside of Melon green screen out your background, throw something in the background there. You don't have to be an expert. It makes it really simple. So link in the description below. If you want to check out Melon, it's an affiliate link. Adios amigos.